check out this 60 here behind me. This would have been early days for the 60 series, and this 60 series is as old as me. Ninth month, 1982. But I reckon this one's fair and a bit better than me um, for its age, that's for sure. Now, Graham, the owner of this one, bought, bought this one from Nelson Toyota in Townsville in 1982, and he's had it ever since, right? This vehicle, um, Graham's been telling me, has been to every state on mainland Australia. Um, the only place it hasn't gone is the southwest corner. This thing hasn't been to Perth, but Graham does have plans to get this thing on the train over to Perth and then drive it back on a big adventure. So, um, but just look at it. This thing, it's had a lick of paint in its day and the decals have also been added by the, uh, by the painter. Now, this is about as original as it's gonna get for a vehicle of this age. You've got the ball bar that probably would have been a factory fit back then by the dealer. Um, you've got these awesome rectangular IPF spotties up the front there, um, and I reckon they've been on there as long as this ball bar, that's for sure. We've got a winch that's like nice and protected. He's done a good job of weatherproofing the winch up the front there. Um, we've got some covers on there just so it doesn't get wet and all that. Like. Now, Graham still uses this thing. He tows a two-ton boat with it. He's into his boats. Graham's also a volunteer um, coast guard, so he devotes a lot of his time to keeping people safe um, offshore here in southeast Queensland. Um, this is a, a Queensland vehicle through and through. It's been here all its life, but definitely done some tours. Graham tells me that this thing, um, he's, got, he's had to put a new clock in there at the moment, but he reckons it's done near 800,000 Ks. And this has got the old 2F in it, and he's absolutely meticulously maintained this thing. Um, he reckons that looking after it, um, he gets just as good as fuel consumption um, as some of the diesel engines when he's touring with his mates in it. Now, this is a 1982, didn't get the five speed by then. So um, this has got the old four speed in it. So he doesn't get to uh, up and boogie with his mates on the highway as quick as he might like, but it definitely gets there every time, that's for sure. Now, let's go under the bonnet and just check out. This thing has not got many mod cons, but um, it's very cool under there. Right, so this is absolutely beautiful under here. If you want to see what a 60 series looked like in 1982, this is a great example of it, right? So obviously you've got the old 2F, and this thing's, a lot of them were converted into gas uh, back in the day when gas was cheap, but this one hasn't. It's actually got um, 180 litre fuel tank in the rear, so just 100% petrol. Um, Graham was telling me that back in the day, um, they used to have problems with the valve seats in these, so he's about 300,000 K or whatever. Um, they would have burnt the valve seats out, but he's been right through it and had them all sorted so he, can, he doesn't have to worry about the, our modern day fuel anymore. It's got a really simple dual battery system in the front here. Um, just a battery isolator here. You can see what his voltage is doing. This is all done by Graham, obviously. Um, and we've got the, a second battery just up here for power in the fridge or whatever in the back. Other than that, there's no mods. We've got the only other thing to say is the Genie headers. Now, they're a Southeast Queensland company as well. And I think they're still going under another name. So, um, but they're on there and that just give, that would just give it a nice note. Um, keep this thing breathing, nice and free flowing. Other than that, there's nothing much to say or going on under here other than how it was back in 1982. Just check it out in here. Um, it, now, Graham's had a go at a lot of things in this vehicle. Um, one being the roof lining. He's actually attempted this himself, and I'll tell you what, he's done a really, really good job. He's done a better job than I've seen some professional guys do, that's for sure. Um, but everything's just really clean and really in its place in this car. You've got the original stereo, just look at that. It just brings back memories of back in the day when I was a kid and that. Uh, moving, I'm probably gonna mess up his radio stations now, look, but it's just cool, analog buttons in there. Um, there's nothing else. We've got a UHF with a, a booster speaker there. Um, and I, like I said, we've got the four speed. But other than that, it's as it was. You know, the, um, in 1982, before they went a bit more modern, they had different stalks on the, on the, um, to control the, the wipers and the lights. And then they changed in 1983. 
Um, the seats are in a remarkable condition, really. Um, knowing how many Ks this thing's actually done, um, we've got seat covers on there, and that's probably a good thing, and that's why they've remained um, like this for that long, really. Now, there's a pad here in the middle, and Graham is telling me a really interesting story. Um, he used to have a Kelpie, and the Kelpie used to sit here with, his, with the seats down in the back, and have his paws here next to his missus, and he used to travel like that the whole way, he wouldn't go to sleep until they arrived at their destination. Um, you can still see a few dog hairs on there from back in the day. And um, Graham used to sleep out the back of this thing and just go touring all over Australia. This vehicle could definitely, definitely tell some stories, and it's just great to see one that's been with the original owner the whole time. Just check it out. History, man. Only a couple of things I haven't really mentioned on this vehicle. We've got just some aluminium side steps there that would have been there since day dot. We've got a lovely original rear bar set up on the back. Um, it just looks immaculate, it really does. There's some load bars on the roof of this thing and uh, Graham was telling me when they go touring, he did have a double swing arm on the rear for his spare tires, but just getting in and out of the thing was a bit of a nightmare, opening the swing arms all the time. So he's got a roof rack that goes up there and that's where his spare tires would go back in the day. Now, Graham's in here today um, to show off his rig and we're very appreciative of that. But we've noticed a couple of things. He's got the tie rod ends have seen better days. So he's buying some tie rod ends today at Mr. Land Cruiser, take them back up the coast with him um, and get them fitted up there. But other than that, this thing is maintained to the highest of standards. It really is. It's, um, it's absolutely beautiful. N ninth month, 1982 FJ60.